Time to place our first 3D printed part. This is our receiver deck and antenna mount. This 3D printed part is for our satellite receiver to be mounted on and its antennas to come through into the tubes. Just take your receiver deck and place it right over the standoffs and push it down with literally no effort at all. From your ice cube tray, grab the four nylon nuts. Take the four nylon nuts, one, two, three, four, and screw them down on the standoffs. I like to use a 5.5 millimeter wrench for some final tightening. You don't want to over tighten these screws because nylon can snap on you and then you'll have to replace all the standoffs and that would not be any fun. This material is a bit rubbery and it will squeeze out eventually if you over tighten it. I begin mounting the spectrum receiver with some double sided tape. I take off enough to cover the bottom of my satellite receiver and cut off the extra just like that. Peel off the bottom. This could be a little tricky sometimes. It doesn't always want to come off. Fingernails come in really handy. But before we put it down, take the antenna and route it up through that hole. First one, and then the other. Carefully pull the antennas through until it's seated right there in the middle and press it down with the tape. Try to avoid any kinks in the corners. Very good. We now have our satellite receiver adhered, but we need to connect the cable. This receiver cable is a bit long, so here's two things I want to do. Give it a nice, nice tight twist and twirl it around itself, maybe once or twice, so it's much shorter. And then just wrap it inside of itself a few times just to bundle it up. That's good. Take your spectrum wire connectors. The connectors have three holes that are closer to the top edge. With the holes closest to the top edge, find the spectrum connector that you put on your flight controller and just plug it in just like that. Take the other connector with the holes closest to the top edge and slide it into your spectrum receiver just like that. You may want to also give it a little push down to make sure that the adhesive is holding in place. Your spectrum radio receiver is now connected to your flight controller. 